fear of being out, or the, do the people of Norway fear of uh, uh, being outside the EU? Tell me about the fear of being No, that was a EU. technique that was being used by the um, by the, the, the yes side in 94. Um, we were told that we would lose 50,000 jobs nearly overnight if we didn't join. And the fisheries would lose out tremendously and, and uh, uh, you know, all, all these sectors that would uh, be ruined economically if we didn't say yes. And uh, obviously that didn't happen. Um, so, um, uh, again, I think it's really important that people in this debate, that's, you know, the, the ordinary people in the street need to feel confidence and, and need, they, 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 they must have the knowledge about the facts. Because otherwise it's very easy to just be, uh, you know, blown away by all these, uh, all the rhetorics. So what did the opposition in the 94 referendum use to say why you, you must join the EU? Well, uh, they said that the EU wouldn't listen to us, um, you know, that it wouldn't be possible to have a normal bilateral relationship, uh, that we would be, we would be um, uh, sort of locked outside the world, we would come, become an outside country that no one would listen to and we were sort of non-existent in the international community. Um, uh, that uh, uh, innovation, competence in, in business would, uh, would, would lose out. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's not as if we are uh, no longer part of the international community. And also, you know, the international scene is more than the EU. That's also easily forgotten. Uh, they really lied. They really exaggerated as much as they could. They said we would lose 100,000 jobs. Nobody would invest in Norway. The interest rate would go to the skies. Uh, we would be isolated. Nobody would uh, speak to us. I, I mean, they said all those kinds of things, which has uh, proved false, all of them because Norwegian economy has really uh, gone to the top after 1994. Investments, interest rate is low. We have the lowest unemployment rate in Europe. So this was all false. Uh, and uh, happily enough, they didn't uh, uh, reach the majority with those lies. And I call them lies. 